Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Madden 20 Ultimate Team video, and today we have the brand new fan appreciation promo in the game. We also have my weekly elite fantasy pack, so I thought I would open it for you guys on video. I do this every week. I always open, my, open up my weekly elite fantasy pack on my Friday video. So we're going to open it up right here, see what we get. We start off with a Easter card. We get 91 Calvinoy. We get a heavyweight, which isn't good. We get 89 Michael Pierce. And as our coin quick sell, we get 80 Brian Bulaga. I kind of think Brian Bulaga sells for the most here. Uh, so I'm just going to not take the risk. I think 90s are like below 10K at this point. So Brian Bulaga for 18K. I'll definitely take it. It's not the worst thing in the world. Free 18K. Now, if you guys want to see a video of me opening these fan appreciation packs, all five of them, I will make a separate video of me doing that. I don't feel like opening up them up right now just because of my coins. They're a little bit low, so I'm going to hold off. And the odds aren't quite as good as I thought they would be. They're a little bit low, honestly. So, they're okay. As you guys can see, 14% for a 96+. plus. They're not bad. Maybe I'll, I'll open one on video just because we do have a little bit over a million coins. So, we'll see what we can get out of one. We start off with a draft player. We get 86 Calvin Ridley. We get a big X Ultimate Legend right here. 92 Calvin Johnson. And then we get a theme builder. 90 Cornelius Lucas. Now, that pack, we probably didn't make our coins back, which is unbelievable to think, but it's crazy how much the market crashed. Now, uh, guys, yeah, we did got all the fan appreciation promo stuff, so we're going to go ahead and get into the players, the not the players, the uh, challenges that we got right here. As you guys can see, if we scroll up, we do have the fan appreciation challenges, which you guys need to complete so you can get your free 99 golden tickets. I'd recommend just going through all these, completing them. They should be pretty easy. Uh, pass for 75 yards and 10 plays should be easy. Um, and you get a bully, we'll see how much, you got 10 challenges, 5 stars per challenge, that's 50 stars, you can get the free 87 overall nat theme builder today, so I would recommend getting that done, so you guys just are able to eventually save up till you can get that free 99 overall nat golden ticket player, but uh, yeah guys, there's, that's really all we have from the fan appreciation promo I believe, um, I can go and check these sets, but I do not know about anything else that there were sets. Yeah, there wasn't any sets or anything like that. So I'm just going to get into some other information that I have regarding brand new Ultimate Legends tomorrow and some Golden Ticket news. Alright guys, so getting into the news I wanted to talk about with Golden Tickets, we are going to be getting um, our last official batch of Golden Tickets next Thursday, which is a little bit saddening that we're going to be getting our last... Uh, player made uh golden tickets i don't know why i couldn't think there for a second but as you guys see as you guys can hear i said player made because we are going to be getting some developer made golden tickets directly made by ea so to start off next week we are going to be getting jalen ramsey and cam newton from player made golden tickets now there are four more developer made golden tickets that we are going to be getting tomorrow as not tomorrow i don't know why i said tomorrow we're going to be getting four more developer golden tickets over the next two weeks we're going to be getting one more with cam newton and jalen ramsey and we're going to be getting three more in a week after that all right guys and those four brand new golden tickets we are going to be getting over the next two weeks are quincy and noon well which is a little bit of a weird choice but and i don't know and then we're going to be getting keith bullock the titans linebacker and i believe he played for a few other teams we're going to be getting anthony Barr, the speed demon who's got good zone so i'm happy about that and we're going to be getting a brian dawkins golden ticket as well so he will get an upgrade to 90 and i'm sure these cars are going to be all absolutely great so at least it extends the golden ticket promo a little bit happy about that we're going to be getting some golden tickets near the end of May, so we can and get, in fact, get this free golden ticket. As you guys can know, I have a lot of players I need to choose from for the Browns and the Steam team. I got the like Kelvin Benjamin, Brian Burns, I have the new Cam Newton coming uh, next week, I have RG3, and there's just a bunch of options. I have to decide what I'm going to go with, and I will definitely make a video going over who I'm going to go with and who I think you guys should go with, so make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you do not miss that video. But yeah, that guys, that's all the brand new news on the golden tickets that we have. All right, and finally, guys, I do not want to make this video too long, so I'm kind of, I'm not going to rush through this, but I'm, I know this video is not super long right now, but I don't want to waste your guys' time. I just want to get into it. We have the brand new Ultimate Legends that are going to be coming out team tomorrow morning. I know this video is later because I, I wanted to wait for the Ultimate Legends to come out, and I was busy all day, so I thought, hey, I'll just wait for the Ultimate Legends to get announced. So, to start off, as you guys can see, the limited time card we are going to be getting is 99 overall limited time Steve Largent, who played for the Seahawks, and I think he played for, like, the Raiders and someone else. I'm not sure though, don't quote me on that. This card, it's decent. 94 speed, 90 jumping, 99 catch, 97 catch traffic, 95 spec edge, 97 short, 99 medium, and 96 deep. And he's also 5'11. He's not very athletic. 
but he's a great catcher. He's great at route running. He's he's I guess uh, yeah he's he's pretty decent. Um, so definitely not bad. Like I said, he's a little bit slow. Not great at jumping. He's not very athletic. So but he's gonna be great at catching the ball. Gonna be great route running. Gonna be great in like the drags, like a slot receiver role, very similar to like a Jarvis Landry. So this card is definitely pretty decent, but definitely not gonna be worth the price tag on him. And the second golden ticket, not golden ticket, the ult next second ultimate ledger we're gonna be getting tomorrow is the brand new 99 overall Michael Vick. Now this card absolutely insane i'm so happy it's coming out because it is an easier way to get michael vick because that card is way too expensive the golden ticket but he's got 95 speed 99 throw power 92 short 98 mid not 98 mid 89 mid 94 deep 92 under pressure 97 on the run and 91 play action to him as well the speed is killer for sure great throat power six foot tall so he won't get batted down too much good throw accuracies i mean they all hit thresholds powered up with chems and decent great not decent great throw on the run decent throw under pressure and the play action really doesn't matter and obviously it is scramble archetype so he doesn't get like dashing dead eye but it's still pretty good for sure card looks absolutely insane he probably will get human joysticks so this card is definitely a dub and the final golden ticket we're getting in, we are gonna be getting tomorrow is simeon rice for the buccaneers i believe he did have a themed diamond um in the second batch so he's getting an upgrade here he's got 90 speed which is great on an end for sure 94 excel 90 strength 92 tackle 94 play rig, 91 block shit 89 power move and 98 finesse move so he's definitely a pass rusher he's an edge rusher like a tj water or von miller because he has that great finesse move and decent power move he's not going to be amazing in the run but he'll be decent with strength and block shedding at about average i'd say for the position and good player good excel really good speed really good height he'll be great off the edge for sure and like a tj water or Von Miller or Cleo Mack Lawrence Taylor roll at the edge spot for sure so this guy is definitely gonna be great but uh yeah guys I think that's gonna be the video like I said video is a little bit shorter because I don't want to waste you guys time but we went over a bunch of content today coming tomorrow and all the content that did come out today so uh yeah guys I think that's gonna be the video I hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did make sure to drop a like down below subscribe and notice on make sure to leave a comment comment so I hope the video get out there go check out my socials in the description we got Twitter Instagram and Twitch and go check out my stream labs in the description if you want to go further than subscribing you can donate there but uh yeah i'll see you boys in the next one peace out